Women make up a small percentage of the sworn officers with the Brooklyn Park Police Department, but there's an effort underway to change that. As Delane Cleveland reports, a new program aims to target some of these potential recruits while they're young. Squad 116, respond to the Copper Trail in Sunset Park. On the Brooklyn Park campus of Hennepin Technical College. Caller is concerned about the subject's safety and well-being. There's a video simulator that allows law enforcement students to practice how they'd respond to real-life scenarios. You get a jump? But on this particular day. I'd say just talk to somebody. The students involved are all young women between the ages of 14 to 18. I wanted to learn more about, like, what officers do. Canaria Hopkins is one of the 10 students who signed up for Brooklyn Park's first ever Wonder Women event. It's a program designed to help recruit more females into law enforcement. You don't see a lot of African American females, you know, being in law enforcement. Because, I mean, I haven't seen one until today. So this should always go nicely here. Brooklyn Park Police are working to change that. Currently, the department has 100 sworn officers on staff, but of those 100 officers, only 13 of them are women. It's not where we want to be. We would love to be exceeding that. Inspector Tony Weinbeck is one of those 13 officers. She says one of the department's goals is to have at least 30 female officers by 2030. It's a pledge they call 30 by 30. It has historically been male dominated because, yeah, the likelihood of maybe getting in physical altercations, uh, the likelihood of getting in confrontations, it's not stuff that is normal for the culture of women. Make sure that you are having eye contact with the person you're speaking with. While that may be true, Inspector Weinbeck says there are things women can bring to police work that their male counterparts cannot. Because of women's ability with compassion, with empathy, they're less likely to use force than their male counterparts as well. So there's a lot of aspects as we start to look at how we need to adapt our policing and the strategies and the tactics behind what we do as police officers, a part of that comes down to making those decisions. While there is no guarantee any of these young women will ultimately pursue a career in law enforcement, the officers are making that connection with them now in case they decide to go that route. It's a lot of smart women out here that can do the same thing as men can, so I feel like it's good for more women to step out of their comfort jail and do what they want to do instead of listen to what other people have to say. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.